Today we're going to teach you how to make uh, some of our very favorite food, sushi. Yes. Um, we're going to show you how to make some spicy tuna. Um, I used to work in a sushi bar and learn a couple things and I'm not saying I'm an expert. The coat makes it look like I am, but uh, it's going to be fun. So Katie, my beautiful assistant, is going to help me prep it all up. <laughs> So, we're going to teach you how to make some sushi. Here we go. If you'll grab me the tuna, please. Alright, so right here we have sushi grade tuna. So whenever you go to your fish market or your fishmonger, ask them for sushi grade tuna, salmon. Whatever kind of fish you want. Exactly, yellowtail. But today we're doing tuna. And this is a pretty good sized roll. So I'm going to show you how to trim it up to get it perfect for nigiri, sashimi, tuna rolls, or spicy tuna, and we'll get started with that. Alrighty, so we have our tuna right here, and we're going, it's been refrigerated up until now, but we'll take out this plate for a second, and we're just going to trim it up. You're going to want to find any irregular shapes and just try to get it perfect. One thing you want to have is your uh, yakinigaba, which is your Japanese sushi cutting knife. So we'll trim this up real quick. And when you slice it, you want to do it in one motion. Did not get it all the way right there, but we'll do that. I'm just gonna get a little bowl over here. I'm gonna put our tuna in there, but other than that, it's pretty good. So. Just gonna cut a section of this off. We're gonna set that on the side. And then we're gonna cut up these pieces because no sushi goes to waste. Or fresh fish goes to waste, and we're just gonna slice it up a little bit. And for this you don't gotta be too perfect with that. Alrighty, so then you're going to get, I'm using a Santuku knife, and you're just going to kind of just cut it up, and it's okay if it breaks a little bit, and it's okay if it gets a little smashed, we're even making spicy tuna with this, so if it was nigiri or sashimi, sashimi you'd want to, you know, keep the integrity of the meat and have it look good. That's what this piece is for. Yeah. And a lot of sushi restaurants will use, not this premium loin. They'll use the leftover, the fatty tuna, and they'll mix it up. But this is going to be a pretty, pretty tasty, spicy tuna. Could you use a regular kitchen knife? Yeah, you can use anything you want. But for cutting the meat, you're actually going to want to use a really sharp fish. Okay, so after you got that, I'm just going to move some knives over. Kind of make my workstation a little bit easier to work here. Show you what we're going to be doing. So, you got your tuna right there. Katie, will you grab me the key pea mayonnaise? So we got keepy mayonnaise here, and we're gonna be putting that in our spicy tuna roll. This is what a brand new one looks like, so if you're looking for it in stores, it kind of looks like that. We're also gonna be using one of Caitlin's favorite sauces, some sriracha. Which looks just like that. Rooster sauce. Yep, I'm sure everybody's seen this <laughs> and knows what that is. And then we're also gonna get some uh Ichimi. Ichimi. Ichimi Taragashi, and that's just Japanese red pepper flake, and we're going to be adding that in, that label too, um, we're going to be adding all into that to make our spicy tuna. Alright, so first we're going to add a little bit of the keepy mayonnaise. How much would you say? Um, For that much tuna. A few swirls? Yeah, <laughs> a few swirls around, at least. At least just getting it started. Want to get this. The pepper flakes. And just kind of sprinkle it over the whole thing. It depends on how spicy you like it. Now different places make it different ways. You can also put in green onion or I've seen even seen cilantro in some places um, and jalapeno. So it's kind of dealer's choice. And then you're just going to do one swirl with that. With the sriracha. So here we go and now we're going to mix it all up. Let's 
smells delicious. It'd be like seafood. <laughs> you can also kind of smash it down with your spoon as you're going. And look something like that. You can always add more mayonnaise, you can also add more in sriracha, kind of get it perfect where you want. And that's how you make spicy, spicy, tuna. spicy tuna for your spicy tuna roll. Thanks for watching guys, be sure to like, follow, subscribe, and share the video. Remember with sushi, it's all about having fun.